morning, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Roy Jones Jr. is assured that tonight is his night. That is as confident of a ring walk as you will ever see. Carlos Monzon's making his way to the ring right now, and you can just see in his eyes what his intentions are tonight. Fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. What a trap he just set, and he lands a nice counter punch. Yeah, that's the old cats with a ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade. You know, a little shadow. And then he throws at you, you pull back, bang. Come right back with your own. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Roy Jones. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that, hey, there's a lot more to this world, to this fight, than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him into false moves. Jones is putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. Halfway through this round here. Roy Jones Jr. with a left. That hook was well off the mark. on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. In a strange way, now it could create an offensive opportunity. Jones's opponent is drawn to that cut he opened up, but it now could force him to be reckless coming in. Uh, you're exactly right, Joe. You know, if you're the one cut, you have a job to do. You have a responsibility. You know, don't let that throw you off. You know, stay to your game plan. But if you cause the cut, you have something that's a responsibility. Don't get over anxious like you just said. Don't just start going for broke. And that's exactly what he's doing. Got 
to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Good defense, just covering up down low. Well, a lot of people were looking forward to this fight, and with very good reason. When you pit these two guys together, it should be a very good fight. You don't have to look for either one of them. They are right there to be found, and our fans love that. This is a white belt. You're winning this fight. Stop going on. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you've got this. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. Carlos Monzon's going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Locks that belt line well. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Good block by Roy Jones. Halfway through round number two. Jones is hurt. Wow, is he hurt. He was the one doing the hurt just moments ago. Well, he's been reminded about defense. He didn't want that reminder. It just came in the form of a left hook. Oh! And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's got number four. What about this time? Listen, Roy Jones Jr. told us all week long, he's not going away this easy. He beats the count. And he ties up on the inside. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Missed the target with that hook. It's all right, just keep moving. Good block by Carlos Monzon. Keep moving. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. A shooting right hand by Carlos Monzon. Now these two corners have to do their job after both men went out and gave everything they had. Both fighters get tagged and hurt by the other. Yeah, well, what you have to do now in the corner, Joe, what you're alluding to is you have to revitalize the fighter. Put some cold water on his head, on his neck, you know, get him ready for the next round and give him some good advice. Tell him how to way, get away from some of those shots. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in there. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? Breathe for me. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you. He tightened up your punches, right? 
I wonder if those 60 seconds were enough, Teddy. He was knocked down in that last round. Now he's right back out there. That 60 seconds has been enough for fighters in his position before. This sport's been around way over 100 years. It's up to him to do the things he needs to do early on in this round. Looks to the head. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Not able to land the headshot. And now we see blood coming from Roy Jones Jr.'s nose. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. 90 seconds to go here in this round. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Carlos Monzon. Punch! Punch! Hold your head! Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Roy Jones. Relax, relax. Oh, hands up, hands up. Yeah. Monzon's right hand working well that time. He scored well. And the round comes to an end. Get away. Come on. This is it. You've got to make it a fight now. You can't just move around. you got to move your hands in there. Right? Let's go. Throw. Throw punches, okay? Don't just don't walk. Look. Good. Looking good. He's tired. He's tired. He's got nothing. Start of round number four, easy scorecard to put together. Let's go! Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good block by Carlos Monzon. Carlos Monzon's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Nice, nice. And he engages in the clinch, commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Monzon's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Carlos Monzon scoring with that right hand. Pace yourself. And 
now he's targeting upstairs. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Solid left hand from Roy. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. I've heard people say about Roy Jones Jr., no matter what sport he was going to apply himself to, he was going to be a pro. He was going to be successful. If he played football, this is a guy that could have been a great defensive back. If he had taken on baseball at a young age, he would have made the major leagues. We know what he would have done in basketball. He's an accomplished basketball player as it is. You agree with that? Well, to a certain extent, I do, because obviously he has good athletic genes. He is an athlete. He's a guy that possesses really tremendous physical abilities. But his temperament, he's a guy who's confident. He's a guy that's stubborn, a guy that wants to prove you wrong and make himself right. He's a guy who's really determined to get his way. Lands that hook to the midsection. Monzone's punch is far off the target. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. It's much too early for him to be hearing this kind of analysis, but it's true. Roy Jones Jr.'s punches right now are slowing down. He's tired. Yeah, and I'm wondering if he's mentally tired, he's discouraged, or physically he didn't put the work in. Give him a little faint first. Where does your body work? Want this fight? Listen to me, man. If you want this fight, you got it. You got any more of these? Round number five has arrived. Well off the mark by Carlos Monzon. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. up top with a right hand off to the side a little swing and a miss going upstairs big shot well we know he survived earlier but now he goes down for a second time Zones rising back up. That takes some guts. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Unable to steady himself right now after being stunned. Teddy, you can try to put a label on Roy Jones Jr., but I don't know that you can necessarily classify him as any one style of boxing. No, he's a guy that breaks the rule book. He would drive traditional trainers batsy. I mean, it really, they would get nuts because he does everything you're not supposed to do. He pulls back from punches instead of slipping them. He drops his hands instead of keeping his hands up. He dares you to make a mistake and he dares you to catch him while he's making mistakes. And all of a sudden, the tables turn. Roy Jones Jr.'s rocked. What's good for you is good for him. Oh, Teddy, he is hurt, but he's trying to throw back. And that's the worst thing in the world. I know it's his natural inclination to throw back, but that's the worst thing because now look at the punches he's thrown. He's going to leave himself wide open for something else.
That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Coming to the end of round number left five, hand, last right, 10 left seconds. Good-looking right hand after he got hit. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself with Lax. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's Three the now. question. Three. You good? Start of a new round, but will it be much the same? Carlos Monzon's been down numerous times tonight, Teddy. Well, if there was a mercy rule like there is in Little League Baseball, guess what? It would be invoked right now, and this would be over. at him with a left hand. Good way to protect the midsection. Punch! Punch! Carlos Monzon's throwing lots of punches and not many are landing, but what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's gonna stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now, and at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. Oh, what a whiff by Carlos Monzon. Way through round six. That's it. That's it. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Carlos Monzon. Go, go, go. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Some way, somehow, he's got to try to get up. Monzon's down, and he looks to be out. Now we're going to see what's inside this man. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Focus. <laughs> Unable to make an impact there by Roy Jones. Roy Jones Jr. has got to be asking himself, at least his corner's got to be asking, can this go on like this? Can we continue to work at this work rate, throwing this many punches, and be this ineffective? So if he was a painter, he definitely wouldn't be Rembrandt because, you know, they're not clean strokes. They're not strokes that, you know, you look at them and they're paying off for them. I mean, he's more like doing finger paints. I mean, he's just throwing stuff at that canvas. And it's not looking real pretty right now. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. And we come to the end of the round. In between rounds here, Monzon's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Use the good one. More than one punch now. Got it? More than one punch. Look at me. We got it. You're doing well, but I need to see the combinations. I need right. to see the strengths. Let's hurt this it. guy. You can't take a punch. You don't need that. I'm going to throw that away.
start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never oh. expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in the 11th. Is this another one of those nights? Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, <laughs> oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Well off the mark by Roy Jones. much action as he just ties up. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Halfway through the seventh round. Fine block by Carlos Monzon. Able to dismiss that body shot. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Nice block by Carlos Monzo. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. It's over. Yeah, he's tight. He's got nothing left. I mean, just go for the head. You want this fight? Listen to me. You want this fight? There you go. You gotta stay busy out there. You're losing this fight because you're not throwing any punches out there. You need to cover up more, okay? As we start round number eight here, Teddy, I'm curious to get your thoughts here. Jones has done a good job. He's winning this fight on your scorecard, but he also has been damaged. Yeah, well, honestly, he's done a good job. You said it right. Now it's the job of his corner to do a good job, do their job right now, and they're very important. They need to get that end swell and start to control some of that swelling. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Roy Jones Jr. has got that catch-me-if-you-can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent 
at this point to try to land a headshot. But his movement's been so good. His defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's weaving the hooks. He's doing a real magical job in there. But his opponent is making no adjustments at all. The halfway point of round number eight. Unable to connect by Carlos Monzon. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. End of the round is upon us. And we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Keep moving. Keep moving. Move your head. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Way through the ninth round, able to cover up that gut. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Jones's defense is paying off now. Keep moving! Keep moving! Beat him in a punch! No. Jones is gonna think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. If 
Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. Nice block by Carlos Monzon. Keep going. <sighs> Carlos Monzon's looking really good after that round. Teddy, I think it's a good fight. I think it's a close fight, but I believe it's a fight that he's winning. Yeah, it's the kind of fight, though, that you can't afford to let up at all, or do what you just said think that you're winning. He can't really think that way. He's got to think that he's got to take one round at a time. The rest of the rounds, he's got to win each one of them. Let's create openings now, okay? Let's take a chance. Breathe in. Work, work, work. He hasn't felt your power yet. You're fighting scared, son. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. He's getting rid of that punch from his opponent, well blocked by Roy Jones. On the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. So Roy is tagged there, and he's tying up. You know, Roy loves to develop scenarios offensively, create right in front of you. Well, guess what? He's got to create a defensive scenario right now to get through this moment. Carlos Monzon's really got a way about him when it comes to his footwork, his movement. It's serving him very well defensively. Yes, it is. He's controlling range. He's controlling distance. He's keeping his opponent where he wants him. Halfway through round 10. Not precise at all by Roy Jones. <laughs> and you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. where things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good, now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him, his opponent wasn't throwing back, he got a little lax, and he paid a price. Deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax, relax, relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. How you doing? You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just need you to focus and keep your hands up. And keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around the ring. Good steady work in the recent rounds by him as we look at your scorecard, Teddy. Round number 11 underway, and that momentum that he's been carrying through to this point has evened up the fight. And he has to do just what he's doing, but now it's up to his opponent now to get a little kick in the backside and say, hey, I let him get back into it. I got to get back. I got to pick it up.
step back, then the counter punch by Carlos Monzon. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. His eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. Keep working his jam. Good, good. Come on, keep focus. Monzone's basically giving you the impression that he's a little tentative to throw punches based on what happened earlier when he got hurt. Yeah, he's got to find a way now to not give up the offense that he had earlier. He wants to go into a defensive nice. mode a little bit, but if he gives up that offense, he'll fall too far behind and get to that no-man's land where he'll need a knockout to win, and he doesn't have that kind of power. something for him himself and it's a left hand <laughs> we count down the final moments of this round hey got to see that coming let's go jones is showing that he's got some defense of his own he got away from that punch End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the taking. Yeah, whoever finishes off strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was, and whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. It's very important in this kind of fight, finish up good at the end of the round. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Back to body. Hey. He just missed that shot up top. Good defensive skill with the block by Roy Jones. <laughs> See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Monzon's really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Whoop, whoop. Work the body, kid. Body shots. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Still not moving enough. Move, I like that step back right there. Just enough 
to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that Keep range. Moving. Know Keep where the moving. beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. And he's holding. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Oh, you got this one. Body shot. Back to the body. <laughs> Not able to connect with the uppercut. Final 10 seconds in this, the 12th and final round. It's okay, let's go. End of the round of what has been a very close and highly competitive fight. Teddy, how do you see this right now? I see it almost dead even. And I see whoever Looking finishes the rounds, because in these kind of tight right rounds, there. if you finish up good, the judges remember that. I need combinations together, you understand? It's not like this guy is doing a whole lot. You gotta work. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Nice block by Carlos Monzon. Nice block by Roy Jones. Punch! Punch! Now you gotta see that coming, now let's go! Halfway through this round. Keep working the body. Protecting his head well with his guard. Relax, relax. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Carlos Monzon. Pace yourself. And he just holds on there. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Keep moving. Keep moving. Roy Jones Jr. is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Blocks the headshot. Ten seconds to go in this round. Keep it going. Beautiful. 
fucking beautiful. That was that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Go out and get him. Go out and fight this guy. Take it to this guy. You have to go. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. Come on, kid, focus. Good block there by Roy Jones. Unable to score with the hook. You got this one. You're not focusing. Roy able to block that punch. Get after him. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Monzon's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. Nothing there on the punch by Carlos Monzon. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Get now hugging on the inside. Nice block by Carlos Monzon. One, two, one, two. That's what I want to see. Sound defense, good block that time by Roy Jones. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. What a good war this has been. What a good, good, solid fight it's been. The kind of fight that tells me somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Last round, okay? This is it. Last round. You finish this smartly, okay? You have this one. Just be small. Which way will it go? Both men want it badly. Now, the final round. Good job, buddy. Do that again. Nice block by Roy Jones. That's it, just like that. Oh, 
Nice oh, block that time. Up. It was intended to the head. Halfway point of this last round. Unable to land clean by Roy Jones. Just a minute to go in this bout. Nice block by Roy Jones. There you go. His movement is really helping him out, avoiding that punch. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. He scored well after being hit himself. Here's our ring announcer with the results of what was a very, very good fight. Jones Jr. is your winner by split decision tonight. Yeah, I disagree with that. That was a split decision. I had him winning much clearer than that. Won't be the first time we say that. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.